Six changes in Arizona school leadership are bringing changes in our schools that families need to know about. Outgoing state school superintendent Kathy Hoffman will spend millions to give low income students free meals. An incoming superintendent Tom Horn says that he'll push to put more cops in schools when he takes office next month. Team 12's Bram Resnick live tonight in the studio to break down both of these plans. Bram? Yeah, let's start with Kathy Hoffman. The Democrat was defeated by former Republican superintendent Tom Horn in the November elections. Now, thanks to Hoffman's plan, Arizona students who pay for reduced price school meetings meals won't have to spend a dime for the next two years, but it will be up to Horn to carry out Hoffman's plan. Here's what we know. The soaring cost of living is driving up stress levels for many parents. They're trying to make sure that their uh, kids can go to school and know that they're going to get fed that day. Angie Rogers, Arizona Food Bank Network, partnered with Arizona School Superintendent Kathy Hoffman on research showing that free meals for more students would make a big impact. Kids do better in school when they're fed. They miss school, less school when they are fed. That schools provide more stability for kids. They get better meal quality at schools. Armed with that information, Hoffman is dedicating almost $7 million in federal pandemic relief funding to cover the entire cost of reduced price breakfast and lunch for qualified students. That's an estimated 2.2 million meals through the end of the 23-24 school year. I think every little bit helps, especially families who struggle day to day. It will fall to the incoming school superintendent, Republican Tom Horn, to reimburse Arizona schools for the cost of those meals with the federal dollars managed by the State Department of Education. Horn spokeswoman Margaret Garcia Dugan told 12 News, quote, I can't imagine Tom not helping kids that are hungry. And Tom Horn has some plans of his own when he takes office January 2nd. On today's 10th anniversary of the Sandy Hook School Massacre, Horn said he wants every school in Arizona to have a school resource officer, a cop in the hallways. To get that done, Horn said in a statement he will require schools applying for safety grants from the Department of Education to make school resource officers a priority. Right now, schools have the option of seeking grants for SROs or for school counselors and social workers. The school safety program was created in the wake of the Parkland, Florida high school massacre in 2018. The student-led March for Our Lives in Phoenix forced elected officials to act. Now, according to the Department of Education, there is a waiting list of almost 70 Arizona schools seeking grants to pay for law enforcement officers. Given the police staffing crunch, law enforcement agencies are reluctant to dedicate a full-time officer to a school. Tom Horn, who is a lawyer, was in court trying a, course, a case today and not available for comment. Let's send it back to you. All right, Bram, thank you.